Hello everyone and welcome to Midnight Sun Gaming. This is review number 3 for the Caverns of Time expansion. And in this review we'll be reviewing and rating the cards for the last 3 classes which are Shaman, Warlock and Warrior. Also, stay tuned for my next video where I will be reviewing the neutral cards. But for now, let's jump right into review number 3. Starting off with Shaman. We have Family Page, a 2 mana 2 1 elemental with battle cry, draw an overload card. You can't be overloaded this turn. Yeah, so this is card draw for Shaman, which they usually lack, especially in Twist. Uh, this is also tutoring an overload card, and on top of that, you won't be overloaded for that turn, which means you can get all the upside of your overload cards without having to worry about being overloaded. On top of that, it's even costed, so if you want to include it in your even shaman deck, you can do that too. Yeah, this is a good card for shaman, and I can definitely th see this one get played in both formats. Next on our list is Totally Totems, a 4 mana spell that reads, summon all 5 basic totems, overload 1. Wait a second, but we only have 4 basic totems. It must have been a mistake, right? Well, obviously this is a reference to the Wrath of Air Totem, which got replaced by Strength Totem a while back. So this card will summon you the 5 basic totems we know, and is even costed. So this card has totem synergies, overload synergies, and it's also even costed, as we said. So yeah, I can see this card see play in different shaman decks, especially in even shaman. Now, it's not the best card in the world, but it's decent enough to see some kind competitive play. And finally for Shaman we have the legendary. It's Alakir the Winds of Time. The only hero card in Twist by the way and has the usual 5 armor for hero cards and battle cry, draw a charge, divine shield, taunt and win fury minion. A nice reload option. And the hero power is Swat Insects which reads give your hero divine shield they gain plus 2 attack and win fury this turn. So, this card is absolutely busted. Insane legendary. So, you draw 4 cards, you have a win condition with the hero power that also has some defensive utilities. I can't imagine this card not seeing play. Well, of course, outside of even shaman since it's odd costed. But you got the point. So, yeah, overall, uh, shaman got some pretty cool cards. And now for the star ratings Pebbly Page gets a 4 in Twist and a 3 in Wild. Totally Totems gets a 3 in both Twist and Wild. Alakir the Winds of Time gets a 5 in Twist and a 4 in Wild. Moving on to Warlock. As you can see, Warlock got only 2 new cards since they reworked Cho'Gal for this class. So the first card here is Chamber of Visitus, which is a 2 mana location with 3 durability that reads Look at three cards in your hand and choose one to discard. Draw two cards. Amazing location. This card is insane, especially in Discard Warlock, which was an already good deck and also received more buffs recently. Nothing to say much about this card than this could potentially be a candidate for nerfs. And our second card here is Witch of the Arc Thief, which has Battle Cry, summon a 1 3 Volt Walker with Taunt. If your opponent has more minions, repeat. So this card is reminiscent of Spreading Plague, and we know how powerful is Spreading Plague. So this is cheaper and comes initially with a 2-4 body, but could be a disadvantage since it doesn't have taunt itself and comes with weaker taunts. But overall, this card should still perform the same job as Spreading Plague, especially in Twist. In Wild, it's decent, but I don't think it will be as good as in Twist. Now for the star ratings. Chamber of Visidus gets a 4 in Twist and a 5 in Wild. Witch of the Arc Thief gets a 4 in Twist and a 3 in Wild. And the final class we have is Warrior. As we saw with Warlock, also Warrior is only getting 2 new cards since they reworked Hobbit. And starting with the first card, Blast from the Past. A 3 mana spell that reads, get 2 spare parts, summon 2 1-1 boom bots, and shuffle a bomb into your opponent's deck. 
This card is very good, it's doing a lot of things for only 3 mana, while presenting board presence, damage and value. Yeah, I can definitely see this card being played, especially in Twist. And our final card for today is Ivory Rook. A 4 mana 4-4 four four minion with battle cry, discover a taunt minion, gain armor equal to its cost. Well, even warrior players will love this card, but even warrior is not a top deck right now. Ivory Rook gives you a body on board, a taunt minion, and gains you some armor. Yeah, a good card, in my opinion, that could see play as well in both Twist and Wild. And now for the star ratings. Blast from the past gets a 4 in Twist and a 3 in Wild. Ivory Rook gets a 3 in both Twist and Wild. So that was review number 3. We still have one more review in which we will be reviewing the neutral cards. What do you think of these new cards? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content, and click on the bell icon to get notified when my videos go live. Take care, and I will see you next time. Peace.